Alabama. I'm going to do a video right here on the cooker I just finished up on. This is a 24 by 50 standard cabinet cooker. In other words, the cabinet is 20 and a half inches tall, two grapes. This is a y'all. Uh, uh, three eighths thick cook chamber right here. Uh, all this pipe here is three eighths. The, the plate here is quarter inch. It has a uh, stainless steel shelf, a removable shelf. It has probe inserts for your wireless, for your digital probes to go in here. And this will accept at least two wires. I think maybe three on some. But uh, you got one here, one here, which goes on the bottom grate, top grate. On the back side, about right here, you got the same thing. You got a uh, probe insert here, goes on top grate, one here on the bottom grate. Uh, this cooker here, right here, has uh, pneumatic tires on the back, which are eight inch trailer tires, which is 16 inches diameter. We ha actually have eight inch uh, swivel pneumatics up front. Air field swivel, swivel pneumatics. So this cooker here, it'll actually roll on concrete, asphalt, grass, gravel, whatever. So uh, remember, cookers that just have casters, you're limited. You're limited to nothing but asphalt or uh, concrete. You're not going to go into grass with them. They're going to mar up and bury up. So that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. And I always say this again and again and again. When you're when you're looking at cookers, you know, say, all right, this guy's cooker costs this amount of money. This guy's cookers cooker costs this amount of money. Do it apples to apples. Say, okay, what's he got on the front? What kind of stainless shelf does he have? It's an 11 gauge. Is he sandblasting his cookers before he paints them? Ask all those questions, you know, because I can, I could, if I wanted to, I could cut back, you know, on all that stuff and still charge the same and get by with it. But no, we're not going to do that because we are, we're just not going to have it. We're going to do the best job we can do. I'm going to do it like it's my cooker. It's just where we're going to do business. I couldn't send a halfway cooker out and say, okay, I made this, you know, this amount of money and, but I didn't give a darn the way it left. That's just not gonna happen with me. It's not in me, it's not the way I was raised, it's not the way we're gonna do. So uh, anyway, it has stainless, coop touch handles, it has uh, river country gauges right here that are unadjustable. Just put them in boiling water, set them, and you'll be good. Uh, this cooker right here has an insulated firebox. Talk to the guys about an insulated firebox. Now, insulated firebox, the price is fixing to probably go up on them. Because after we go back and do some, you know, <clears throat> do some accounting and look at them and then compare them across the industry, we're giving these boxes away cheap, the way we do them, you know. You, I, I know guys are charging $1,000 for this box. We're charging six fifty. I don't mind telling you. And uh, if, you, if you go to somebody and they say, we're charging you $150 for an insulated firebox, you better get gone like cars go and run, because they ain't selling you the right stuff. I can promise you. But anyway, this box right here is a quarter inch thick on the outside, has two inches of insulation, which we use in our refinery, the exact same insulation I use in the refinery on heaters and stuff, and it has another quarter inch plate. So you're you're talking about a quarter, two, and another quarter, so that's a half. I mean, come on, you know, that's 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 a lot of stuff right there. This cooker here has an ash pan, that's an upgrade. Fire basket right here comes here and locked. That's a heavy duty fire basket, not gonna burn out. It's gonna last a long, long time forever, for, probably for the life of this cooker. Just keep, you know, keep it, you know, take care of your stuff. Take care of your stuff. You know, this cooker is, a, is an investment. This cooker right here, look at it, Karen. Come over here and look at it. This is a three quarter inch thick door. Go out there and price some three quarter inch plate and then come back and tell me what it costs. Because I'm telling you, it's very, very expensive. Uh, very expensive. But that's just what we do. We, we put that door on there like that. Big pinwheel damper. It's not a, you know, I still got, I've got more wire than I need right there. But this, uh, you know, some guys are putting these little bitty uh, aluminum stainless things on about that big around and my lord, are you getting enough air? Seriously, but that's, that's not, that's neither here nor there. That's up to whoever buys it. But uh, you can come back here, this cooker right here has a flag holder right here. Not a flag, well, it could be a flag holder. But it has an umbrella holder. You can stick your umbrella down in here, let it go to the ground and bungee cord it down there. Tighten this boat down right here. You got an umbrella over where you're cooking. And uh, keeps you cool, keeps you know the weather off of you, everything else off. Again, this this cooker here is a 24 by 50 cabinet model cooker. That's what we're doing mostly now. I mean, we do some traditional doors. You see this cooker right here? Lord, I'm a, this cooker here has a fire poker. We give that to you. Guys are charging 40, 50 dollars for a fire poker. 
two-inch drain on my cookers now. I'm up my drain size because uh, I found a way to get some, uh, you know, pretty good deals on some uh, bigger drains. Uh, so I just did on these. I got a good deal on it. I thought, well, I'll put a two-inch drain on it. Uh, guys are charging for the ball valves out there, 40, 50 bucks. So anyway, that's in our deal on our cooker. Got gaskets on these doors. This cooker seals really, really, really tight. Oh, great cooker. Great size cooker. Oh, you see that tight? Just push it in like. I'm gonna say something else, guys. You know, I get some calls from people saying, you know, well, Tyler didn't call me back. Tyler didn't answer emails or whatever. Email Tyler because Tyler is getting 35 to 40 emails a day. He works in his shop 10 or 12 hours a day, goes home and answers email. To say he's never missed one, it's, I'm not gonna say that. He does the best he can. But remember this, sometimes when you go through our website, you could be a bad server or what, email him directly. If you have problems with getting in touch with Tyler, email me, paul at shirleyfabrication.com. Tyler is bowed up, busy all the time. So am I, so am I. I've got a full-time job in a refinery. I'm actually fixing to start a shutdown. In the morning, I'm gonna be clicking the buttons, pulling the charge. Crew charge out of the crew unit where I work at. We're doing a $20 million expansion, or $25 million expansion, and uh, I'm gonna be working a lot of days straight, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm running behind some on my bills a little bit. I'm gonna do the best I can do. We've always done done right by people, so just, you know, do right by us, too. Uh, uh, you know, email Tyler, he can't talk to everybody. During the day, he's under a weld and he'll put earplugs in, you know? We're a very, very small outfit. I'm a company. We're talking about five guys, or four guys working in here, and we stay bowed up. And we thank y'all for that. We really, really do. We thank y'all for all that. But if something happens, I check emails all the time. I don't get that many. I check my emails on my, my emails all the time. Paul at charliefabrication.com. If you're having a trouble getting a hold of Tyler, let me know when I'm gonna go to Tyler and say, Tyler, this guy said he had trouble getting a hold of you. Tyler does a phenomenal job. He's, he does, he does a phenomenal job. But just, you know, be light on him because he's doing the best he can do. And You know, to say he's never missed one, I'm not gonna say that. He does not do that intentionally. Plus, he gets all these crazy emails, you know. Uh, Y'all know how it is. But anyway, uh, like I said, I'm fixing to start a 45 day shutdown, 45 to 50 day shutdown in the refinery. It may go longer, I don't know. We're, we're sponsored to smoke on the, what is it, Sherry? I think it's smoke on the water. Smoke on the shore, smoke on the water in Tennessee next week, next Saturday. We'll have a couple of cookers up there. I'm building one to uh, donate that they all, uh, you know, we are, I don't need to say me, to donate. Tyler's gonna have a couple of cookers up there for sale that he built a long time ago. So God, don't get your feelings hurt. Tyler had this plan for over a year, over a year, and he's had these cookers built. So, you know, there's gonna be a couple of cookers up there that I think he's gonna be selling. So, uh, because we wanna have cookers to showcase. If, if there's a chance, a possible chance that I might get to break out from the shutdown at the refinery and come, I hope I do, because I'm gonna meet everybody, talk, uh, you know, I answer any of your questions. Uh, I, I, I talk to my webmaster and might even do a live cook if I come. You know, one of our cookers and show them, you know, how it cooks, what it does, how it performs. They're great performing cookers. That's, this cooker right here with an insulated fire box is going to use minuscule amounts of wood. I can tell you that. It's, 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 it is. It really, really is. Uh, and it's going to hold the heat good, hold the heat well, and everything else. Uh, and I hope I ain't hurt nobody's feeling, feelings tonight. I don't mean to do that. I've been working long, 12-hour days, coming home from the refinery, getting out in the shop and working. So uh, we just do what you have to do. We hope you can plow. Thank y'all you know, for everything y'all do. We wouldn't be here without y'all. We wouldn't be that here without the good Lord, my wife. She, she's an awesome woman. She helps me all the time. She does many, many things for me. Uh, it, it's amazing what she does, you know. It, it's, so I hope y'all get to meet her too. She, she's definitely gonna be there. But uh, again, uh, this cooker here is for David Hawkins. David, if you're out there, I'll probably load this video up. Maybe tomorrow if I can, I'm gonna, be right here in the middle of a of a shutdown in the cruise union. I'm a, I'm a console operator, so I'm gonna be busy as busy as I'll get out. And so are the guys in the field. There's a lot of great guys out there gonna be busting their backside, you know. And and uh, we're blessed to have a job at, at the, you know at the refinery where I work at, Hunt Refining. Actually, if anybody doesn't mind me saying that. So just again, thank y'all. Call Tyler. I 
I mean, email Tyler, Tyler at ShirleyFabrication.com. You, you can have his phone number, 205-799-0251. I'm 205-310-9160. Leave a voicemail. Most of the time I'm not going to answer the phone. I will on occasions, but usually I'm working too. So thank y'all for, you know, for y'all's business, for y'all's, uh, you know, for, for y'all's confidence in us. Again, uh, I'm out of here.